place seems kind of peaceful. This is like the second hub world, I guess. Besides the legs, the fucking legs just coming out of the water. That's not peaceful. What the hell is that? Ew. I'm really happy to be done with that water. That was freaky. So should we go through the door that opened? Am I approaching like the end of the game or something? Alright, so we got the study. The guest room. Please, no more water ever again. That water monster, that was the freakiest thing. This area looks cool. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. So who is that other guy? Is that Alexander? I think Daniel is talking. Daniel... Uh, the main character, he's remembering himself talking to this other guy. I don't even want to step in, it'll probably like, start on its own or something. Machine room. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the friendliest looking place. It's probably gonna be scary. All of these are definitely gonna be scary. I'm gonna go to the friendliest looking place. And that, I'm gonna say, is the guest room. Talking about the past or something? Yeah, this seems like the brightest looking room. This is a big ass guest room. There's a fireplace in here. a letter today 
from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm fine, like, reading all that lore stuff, just because, like, I just want a break. After something like that, I just want, like, a break. Inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Who is this guy? Is that someone different? Did I look through this? Yeah, I definitely looked through this. Alright, so the guest room is pretty short. Um, there's still this door. Maybe the study goes through there? 